So people always ask me, would I rather buy a Lamborghini or a Ferrari? And I think the best answer is it depends because there are different reasons that I would buy each one of these cars. And personally, although I do prefer the Lambo in most cases, I think Ferrari definitely is a great car and they've appealed to a certain audience. So as you guys know, part of my investment portfolio is exotic car rentals. So I don't personally operate this business, but I do purchase these cars and I use them as assets that I place into other people's businesses. So those other people being exotic car rental company operators. So the way that this works is basically I find operators around the country who rent out exotic cars. So they've basically spent maybe the last five to 10 years, some of them more, building a business that specializes in renting out exotic cars. Now they might be in the Las Vegas market, they might be in Miami, Dallas, New York, it doesn't matter where they are. As long as I think that that market has potential, I can place my cars into their business. So I specifically target markets that I believe that are going to be profitable. And then of course, I always do my research and I make sure that I'm working with people who are reputable, number one, number two, who have a good track record with vehicles and they can show me exactly how many times a year this car is rented, how much money it makes. And then based on their numbers, based on that data, I can then make a decision whether I want to buy an exotic car and start renting it out. If I do decide to buy a car and start renting it out, I now have the opportunity to choose around the country where I want to place these cars. Maybe I want it close to home so that whenever the car is not rented, maybe I can take it out for a drive personally, or maybe I want it somewhere where I tend to vacation often. So if I vacation in Miami, let's say I could place some cars in Miami and whenever I'm down in Miami, if I want to use that car, I can, because again, it's my car. I placed it in that exotic car rental lot, but I can use it whenever I want to, because I'm the owner of that vehicle. Now, the other part of it is what's the most profitable market? Maybe I'm not looking at my own personal preferences. Maybe I'm looking at a preference of profit. Now I want to make as much money as I possibly can. And I don't really care about using the car when I'm visiting or when I'm at home. So there are certain markets around the country that allow us to do that. Now, the question is, do I get a Lambo? Do I get a Ferrari? Well, there are other cars that perform really well as well. However, I believe that two of the most basic cars that you can get started with are a Lamborghini Huracan and a Ferrari 458. Now, of course, there are different models. You could get a 488, you can get an F8 Ferrari, but personally for renting out cars, I prefer those two models, a Lamborghini Huracan and a Ferrari 458. And I think they're pretty comparable in price as well. Um, you can usually pick one up around $200,000. And the thing is, you don't have to pay cash for the whole thing. So you can basically just put down a down payment, maybe $20,000, $30,000 and finance the rest of the vehicle. Sometimes if your credit is good and you have some history built up, you can start buying these cars with no money down. And now you're into the vehicle, no cash down. You just have your monthly payments and you're renting out that car and creating passive income for yourself. It's a great way to start building a passive income portfolio. And many of my students are doing it every single day. Now, do I prefer either one of those cars? For me personally, I enjoy driving Lamborghini more. And that's just because of the handling of the car, uh, the raw power that you have in a Lamborghini. I feel like Lamborghini is just a little bit more aggressive than the Ferrari. Um, the Ferrari handles really well. They handle well, they look really cool. I recently had the opportunity to drive a Ferrari F8 and I have to say it was very boring. <laughs> now compared even to a Huracan, I'm not even talking to Ventador here. I'm talking about a Lamborghini Huracan, which is the V10. The Ferrari F8 was very, very boring compared to that car. Now, do I think that a Lamborghini Huracan is a better car than the Ferrari? The Ferrari is definitely a quality built vehicle. It looks amazing. It looks stunning, but I just enjoyed driving the Lamborghini Huracan more. If I was going to rent out one of those cars and I had the choice of either one of them, I would still probably choose the Lamborghini to be honest, because it's a third of the price of the F8 and I'm probably not going to be able to charge three times more for renting out an F8. So just doing some simple math, if I could buy an F8 for 600,000 or I could buy a Lamborghini Huracan for 200,000, I could get three of them and still probably profit more money than I would if I got the F8. Now the F8 looks cool. I think that Ferrari's kind of veered off into the place where they're just trying to please consumers. They've, they've become a little bit consumer centric and that's fine. Uh, but they're they're really going in the wrong direction as far as their cars, in my personal opinion. I think that Lamborghini has stayed true to their core 
and they've stayed true to their styling and their design and that's really created a lot of brand loyalty with lamborghini so including the the huracan all the models of the huracan the aventador the v12 replacement that's coming there's just so much to say about the quality build and the driving experience of a lamborghini and i think it's unmatched in the market currently other cars they can be a little bit more polished they can be a little bit this a little bit that but i think the raw driving experience of a lamborghini is very very hard to beat it just has a very unique feel to it and me personally, I enjoy that. So if I was gonna choose between buying a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, I would definitely buy more Lamborghinis. Uh, Ferrari is a little bit down lower on my list, but I still think it's a great car. And as far as rentals go, I have both. Um, I have both Lamborghini Huracans and I have Ferrari 458s, 488s. Uh, maybe eventually I'll get an F8 or something. But I think that another great vehicle for rentals is a Lamborghini Aventador. Now, that's definitely gonna be a more expensive one to rent right? Because you have a lot more possibility of maintenance issues. Uh, they're infamous for having issues with their clutches. And it's just, it's a riskier car to rent out overall, but you can definitely charge more for it. So every single day that it's rented out, you're making maybe two or three times as much, but you do have a bit of increased risk. So if you're building out your passive income portfolio, something that I would consider is potentially renting out exotic cars. Now, you want to make sure that you're not going to be renting them out yourself. That's not a good thing to do because my guess is you're not an exotic car rental professional. If you are, then it's a different story. But if you're not, it's probably a good idea to just buy one and find somebody that you trust that is able to rent it out for you. Of course, in my program, we have a ton of resources. We have people that we've worked with for years and years and years, and we know exactly what that process looks like, and they know exactly what to do when they're partnering with us. So it's just a seamless process. Um, of course, you can go out and do the legwork yourself and find places that may be able to rent out your car, but you also wanna make sure that they are treating you as an investor and even a partner in the business to a certain extent where you're providing these assets, you're providing these vehicles, you're going out, you're literally taking the financing on your name, you're getting approved, right? And once you're approved, you're able to place that vehicle in their lot and they're gonna be renting it out for you so that you don't have to worry about any of those small details, renting out the vehicle, insurance claims, there's a lot that goes into it, but they're professionals. And so I leave that work to the professionals, to people who are doing it day in and day out so that I don't have to manage that whole process of renting out an exotic car. The only thing that I do is I'm financing it on myself, on my name, on my credit, putting down the down payment, taking the car, placing it in their lot and collecting my passive income. All right, guys, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.